every time God is angry, God shakes the heaven and earth. He tries to shake the earth. He shakes it with tsunami. He shakes it with earthquake. He shakes it with flood. He shakes the nations with a flood. He shakes them with earthquake so that they may be awakened. The Lord is trying to, to seek your attention. It is God who is trying to seek your attention through earthquake, through tsunami, through flood, through even the volcano. He is trying to, stay, to seek. He, the Lord is trying to seek your attention so that you may be awakened. He is shaking and he is shaking you to repent. He is shaking you to turn away from sin. He is shaking you to turn away from evil. He is shaking you to turn from evil. He is shaking you to fear God. He is shaking you so that you may repent. Because God says that for those that God loves, he rebuke and he punish. God rebukes. God punish those that he loves and those that he are his. Those that God loves, he rebuke. Those that God loves, he punishes. So, when God is shaking your nation, awake and repent. Awake and turn to Jesus. Awake and turn to righteousness. Turn to holiness. Turn to the fear of God. Why? Because God is saying, turn away from sin. Turn away from homosexuality. God is striking your nation to turn away from homosexuality. To turn away from sexual sin. To turn away from prostitution. To turn away from abomination to turn away from uh, idol worshipping to turn away from sexual sin from satanism to turn away from all kind of evil to turn away from sin and repent because god is saying that he's commanding all people everywhere all nation all people everywhere races it don't matter you are black or white but god is commanding all people every religion to repent in the name of jesus so that they may be saved so god says well in the book of of Matthew that when you saw those, you see those those signs are the quick those signs are the quick and all those things when you see those things they are judgment from the road and they are signs of end time in the book of Matthew 24 7 they are signs of end times signs of end, end times and God is saying he's, he's not trying to us to seek the attention of the church the attention of the church to be awakened because we are in the last days and the signs of the end times the signs that Jesus Christ is coming the living Jesus Christ the son of God he is coming Jesus is coming so he is trying to find to seek the attention of the church to be awakened to repent the church of God to prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ the church of God we are in the end time days and God is saying he's trying to seek your attention so that you may fear him fear the Lord the nation fear the Lord you people and repent and come to Jesus Christ because the kingdom of God is near and Jesus Christ the Messiah is coming very soon so God is trying to seek your attention repent for every evil and wickedness turn to Jesus Jesus Christ turn to God because he is the one who command the sea he is the one who command the mountain he is the one who command the ocean where to stop he is the one who command even the earthquake where to where where to strike he command earthquake where to strike so return to Jesus for he return to the Lord God Almighty for he has the authority in heaven and earth and he's saying for repent the kingdom of God is near and he say if my people who are called after my name they will humble themselves and repent. God will heal their nation. God will heal the, 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 uh, them. And God will save them. The best thing is to repent and to prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because the kingdom of God is near. Repent. 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 The kingdom of God is near. God is seeking your attention to repent. God is seeking your attention to run to him. God is seeking your attention to return to him, to turn to him, to, to, to run to, to God for the solution. Your solution can only come to God. And God is seeking for your attention to repent and to humble yourself and to turn to the almighty God. Because he say, unless you repent, you otherwise perish. So repent or perish. And if you don't repent, more are coming. More are coming. The judgment of God is in the church. The judgment of God is now in the nation. The judgment of God is coming and more is coming. The wrath of God is hanging on your nation. Until you repent and stop sin and fear God and turn to the living God Almighty. For the kingdom of God is near. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is near and the kingdom of God is near.